Ah, the nostalgic thrill of stumbling upon your old Pokemon game from your childhood. The rush of memories floods back as you hold the precious cartridge in your hands, but alas, your excitement is quickly dampened by the devastating realization that your save game, your beloved Pokemon and all your hard-earned progress has vanished into the void. What could be more frustrating than that? See, in every Pokemon cartridge there's a small battery that powers a memory chip, allowing you to save progress. However, over time, this battery can run out of power and cause data loss. The simplest solution is to just replace the old battery with a new one, which should hold its charge for several years. Alternatively, there are more modern cartridges with flash memory available that eliminate the need of a battery at all. My Zelda Oracle game here, for example, still holds my childhood save game. And that one's from launch week in October 2001, so almost 22 years at time of this recording. But anyway, we've got some things to do today. These Pokemon cartridges here are all in need of new batteries and I want to see how fast I can swap them as this should be a fairly simple task. All you need is a soldering iron, a cheap one like this does the trick too, some solder and well, new batteries. Also make sure to use adequate protection and airflow when soldering, these fumes should not be inhaled. Another thing to notice, take a look at this Pokemon Emerald cartridge. Game Boy Advance games are typically using CR1616 type cells, while original Game Boy and Game Boy Color games sometimes use a thicker CR2025 type battery. But somehow, the owner managed to solder in the bigger one and now the cartridge won't fit together as intended, causing stress to the plastics and could potentially even damage the game's PCB, so always make sure to have the right one at your hands. Best practice is to just swap out the same battery size which is already in the card to avoid confusion. And with that being said, let's dive right in and I will narrate as we go. But first, a quick word about today's sponsor, PCBWay. PCBWay is your one-stop solution for anything around PCB prototyping and manufacturing. They also offer 3D printing, CNC machining, sheet metal fabrication and even injection molding. As you see, there is a wide range of services to aid you in every stage of bringing your next project to life. Ordering through the website is easy and there is an online chat available if you need help at every step of the ordering process. So big shout out to PCBWay for sponsoring this video and check them out at the link in the description down below. Now back to the Pokemon games. So I got like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 Pokemon games right here. Um, some are in German like this Emerald and I have a gold and a silver one too. But I also have some in Japanese from my latest order at Sandico. And I think we'll start with the Red Edition, as this was also my first Pokemon game that I've ever played. So as I mentioned before, this should be a fairly easy task. You just take the screw out from the back with our Gambit driver we got. And when that came out, come on, come on. We just remove the front, like that. And we are in these ones in actual good condition it seems like. Anyway, so let's get the soldering iron out and start removing the old battery. Ah, oh, I forgot my tweezers. Where are my tweezers? Found them. So let's get a soldering iron out and just start removing the old battery. So I hold the battery with my tweezers. And heating up one side of the pad. Let's try it right here. Just don't pull too much, it should lift off very easily. Oh, no. Okay, so one side off, now back to the other side and just flip the PCB around, holding the, holding the battery like that and we're off. Now with the old battery out we can confirm that this is a CR1616 cell and um, we just swapped them out with a fresh CR16 cell. I also used some desoldering braid to remove the last bit of the old solder. This is not a necessary step, but it is well recommended to make sure the bond between the parts is guaranteed. When putting in the new battery, make sure it's right oriented. There are plus and minus signs on the board and the battery, so it's also very hard to miss. I hold the battery down with my tweezers till the first side is introduced to fresh solder. When the solder is hardened, I can let go so the battery won't come off or move sideways. Also a quick tip, 
when you have issues with the cartridge not closing properly after you finished soldering, maybe the battery wasn't pushed down enough against the board. Just desolder and try again. Okay, so now the new battery is in, we need to make sure that everything went right and well and check if the game saves. I'm just putting back together the game. Screw it down as well for good measure. Come on, come on. So let's actually see if the game saves. Mm -hmm. We didn't destroy the PCP, which is a good sign. <laughs> go. There is Professor Oak. Okay, now just went around and take a save. There we go, all right. And for good measure, put the card out, just to make sure there's no uh, connection and contact with um, the Game Boy. And let's see. Come on, come on. Moment of truth. And there it is. Sweet. This one works. Okay, so everything worked out great and we are good to go. Now with the first one finished, let's try how fast I can swap the other batteries. I think the next one is uh, a silver one. Okay, so let's start a timer and see how fast I can be. Okay, so we just get the screw out. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Faster, 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 oh, yeah. Okay, screen is out. Oh, okay, we have a CR2025 battery right here. That's this one, let's take it out. Um, I need my screen, okay, come on, come on. Uh, well, no, I will just get it right here. Hopefully it's so this fast. Okay, one side, ah, no. One side's down. Uh, the other one. Okay, desoldered. Then with the soldering braid, desolder braid, we just get rid of the old solder. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Faster, faster. Okay, there we go. And then get the new one in. Oh, where's plus? Where's minus? There's plus, there's minus. Um, like so, I guess. Okay, here we go. Where's my solder? Oh my god. Oh my god. Get it done, get it done. Okay, actually, I just wing it. Oh no, oh no. Come on. Oh no, this is horrible. Just... Just work, please. Oh god. Okay. And there we go. A little bit more, a little bit more. And time. Okay, two minutes. Um, two minutes. Okay, let's... Let's take a look. These ones are actually not that good of a condition. I need to clean it up further. But well, swap the battery in two minutes. So let's see if I can do that one faster. Let's do this and go. Okay, so let's do a quick fire round with those two uh, Pokemon cartridges and see if I can push my PB even further down. Let's start in three, two, one.
Okay, one minute and yeah, three seconds. One minute and two seconds. Um, that's that's really good. But uh, let's see if I can push it um, right under a minute. This is the last hope I've got. We start in three, two, one, go. Okay, just remove the screw. No, get it out. Okay, remove that one. Remove that one too. Okay, be gone. Then remove all the old solda. It won't suck it up. No. There too. Okay, here we go. And in with the new battery. Uh, this is plus. Let's see if we can just hold it down. Okay. And I need solder. This one feels good. This one feels good. Okay, that's one. That one's in. And come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. And time. Nice! 56 seconds is the uh, last in total time I've got here. Okay, so the fastest time I've achieved swapping out a Game Boy cartridge battery was 56 seconds. This is definitely just for fun and I hardly recommend take more time and do a really good job soldering in those batteries. I also think that this is a really easy way to learn how to solder and get into understanding how these type of things work. It's not scary, try it for yourself. To further save your progress in games, I recommend this video in the corner to actually never ever lose your Pokemon again. So that's it from me. Thanks for watching and I hope you learned something along the way. I am Paul, this is my little mod shop and I see you in the next one. Bye for now.